hello everyone in this video first of all welcome back to my video training series in this video I'm going to be talking about how we can create a SharePoint list so without further ado let's uh, get started so I'm going to be creating a SharePoint list and adding a couple of fields into that SharePoint list so to do that I'm going to click on my list link on my left hand side and now I'm going to create click on the create link and when I click on that pops open the create light box in SharePoint is called a light box or a dialogue we can call it and I can filter it by list and I can choose various options and the one that I'm looking for is called the custom list item or the template we can call it so I'm going to click on that and give my list a name I will just say employee and I can just click on create or I can click on more options and when I click on that I get few options I can write the description of the list or I can choose the option for displaying it on the quick launch what the quick launch does is if I choose now then once the list is created it won't appear on the left hand side in the list section so for now I will just leave everything as it is I'm going to just click on create and it's going to go ahead and create the list employee and there you go we have the employees list and what we have is we only have one field by default which is called the titles field and uh, I can go ahead and create an item or a row in SharePoint it's called an item so I'll just say test John the most popular name the, uh, the most common name I would say and, uh, and as you can see this is a mandatory field because this is the only field that we have and by default SharePoint sets the title field as the mandatory field so I'm just going to click on save or I can click on save here so that it will just add test John here so that was it now let's add a couple of fields in addition to the title into the employees list so to do that I'm going to click on the list tab here we we'll call it the tab or the menu tab here and then I'm going to click on the list settings on my right hand side and I'm going to go down and under the column section I can see the title which we saw and what do we see here we see created by column and we see the modified by column but we remember that we were only able to see the title that's because the view the default view of this list I will explain what the view is in the next video training session uh, because created by and modified by were hidden and they were not shown to us and the only I feel that was visible was the title field so let's quickly now I go ahead and create a couple of more columns for fields for the employees table. Let's call this column as the, the address column, for example. And uh, let's make it a multiple line of text because we would like to be we would like to add few more things. And now I can leave it as uh, six number of lines, and I can. Uh, choose either enhanced or rich text or plain text with enhanced you can add hyperlinks pictures or tables with with the rich text you can bold your text or or set the alignment etc etc but here i'm just going to choose plain text because i'm not planning to add some bold or italic to this one uh, well uh, just for demonstration purposes let's add rich text and click on ok and that address column has been added and the type says multiple lines of text and the address is not mandatory that means it is not required you can always choose set the required field to yes so let's go ahead and do that on the address because you would like to get the address for an employee uh, in the real world it is not uh, required but just for the training purposes or demonstration purposes I'm going to click on yes and I will hit ok 
Now what will happen is every time I let's go to the employ list and I will show you in a moment what that means. And address field is blank, so let's edit the item that we created before earlier. And as you can see the red asterisk, which means this is now a mandatory field. So I can now enter uh, an address. Wait. I don't know if that still exists. Yes, it's good. Anyway, let's uh, go to country name. We saw that this is a multi line text text, multi enhanced text, that is text. We can modify and uh, I'll start into this. So let's hit save. And the moment we hit save, we can see our data as well. So that was it. In this quick video, we saw how we can we learn how to create a SharePoint list, a custom SharePoint list, how to add columns, how to set the columns to a mandatory field. And uh, that was a quick lesson. In my next video training series, I'm going to talk about views and how to hide or show some of the columns. So join me in my next video and thanks for joining me in this video. Till then, goodbye.